Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to take the BIOS password off of a Lenovo T430 ThinkPad laptop. This procedure is very specific to this model of ThinkPad. Um, there are procedures for other models, but we're going to very specifically show you how to get that BIOS password off a T430. T430 being one of the big names in the ThinkPad model line. Now the problem is incurred when you try to get into BIOS and you see that padlock sign there. When you hit the F1 key at startup and you see that when you're trying to go into the system setup BIOS, that's what we're going to show you how to get rid of. Okay. This procedure, again, is very unique to this particular model of IBM T430 ThinkPad. Now, we're going to suggest you use a tool, an electronic caliper tool. We've got one shown here. You can get them on Amazon for seven bucks. You're going to need that to because we're going to have to probe. So what you're going to have to do is in this model, you're going to need to get in to the laptop underneath the um, memory panel. So you're going to take off the two screws, get into the memory panel area. You're going to take the CMOS battery, the thing that's in yellow there, and just it'll pop up and just get it out of the way. You don't need to unplug it or anything. Just get it out of your way. And now there's a piece of black tape that's covering the contact points. You're going to pry that up very gently. It's just tape. It doesn't matter if you rip it, but just pry it up so that you can get at these contact points on the circuit. Now, there you can see the contact area. We're going to zoom in there and there's two points that you have to short out during startup. And that's you're going to we're going to use our little tool, but they also suggest maybe that you ought to clean that area off with some rubbing alcohol just to so that you don't have any foreign material in there. You can do that or not. Okay, and you put your probe across those two points right there. You see how we've done that? That's where you're going to probe it at the proper time in this sequence. You're going to stick it between those two contact points. There's another shot showing you where those are. All right, now here's the procedure. Okay, I'm going to suggest you get two people to do this. It's easier because you need an extra hand. Also, we put the laptop up on its edge with the AC adapter kind of off the side of the bench so that you don't put in any unnecessary pressure on the AC adapter during this procedure. One person is on the bottom of the laptop and is going to stick that probe into those two contact points at precisely the right time. The other person is going to use their finger to turn the power button on and hit the F1 key. So when you're ready to go, you got to be in position. Don't put the probes in until the power has been turned on. So you got to turn the power on first, then hit the probes, then hit F1. And if everything works right, you'll go right into setup without ever seeing that little pass lock. So here we go. The first, first person hits the button and turns it on. As soon as it begins to power up, he tells them, touch the probe into the pins. And then we hit the F1 key to force it into setup and there you go it's going into setup and voila you're on the setup screen without ever seeing the paddock so again let me summarize you got to do them in that sequence turn the power on then put the short out the two pins and then hit the F1 key and now as you can see we're in setup, and now you can just go through each of the settings that have a password on them where it says enabled, toggle it to disabled. And where it's a password, toggle in no password if that's what you want, or change the password to whatever you want. And you've successfully got into BIOS around that password, change the password to whatever you want or no password, and it's good to go. So, again, it's fairly straightforward. Now we're going to power back up, and now you'll see when we power it up, it'll go right into setup without you ever seeing that little lock key. There you go. Bang, it worked. You heard it here, Fred from the Laptop Barn. Sign up for our uh, as a subscriber to our channel.